Hello everyone, welcome to Edu Made Easy. We offer a free collection of IGCSE and Checkpoint exam resources. Today we're going to be completing the question bank on the subject of Business Studies 0450 on the topic of market strategy. Let's get started. So first of all, starting with the definition of marketing strategy. So as I always say, definitions are a very uh, pivotal part of business studies as an IGCC subject since there usually or always will be a definition in each 20 mark question you get. So the definition of marketing strategy would be the plan to combine the right combination of the four elements of the marketing mix to achieve a particular market objective. And in mark schemes, it specifies whether you have a clear understanding of the definition or some understanding. So the one I would just say, I said would be a clear understanding, which would get you two marks, but some understanding, which is one mark would be how to combine the four uh, P's, which is price, product, promotion, and place, or how to promote a product or a plan for marketing or how to increase sales. So those would only demonstrate some understanding. So you would only get one mark. Okay, DGC is a public limited company and it has a reputation for selling high quality branded clothes and shoes to women. It is a multinational company and owns shop in 10, own shops in 10 countries. Each shop operates with a short chain of command between the shop manager and sales employees. DGC is planning to expand into countries for the first time. And DGC has carried out some secondary market research and has found that country Z has different cultural and social trends to its existing markets. The managing director thinks DGC should open the shops in country Z as a franchise. However, the finance director thinks DGC should buy its own shops using a suitable source of finance. And the question is, do you think DGC should open shops in country Z as a franchise? So always with six mark questions, we have to make sure we give both sides of the argument. So this is how you would get your knowledge and analysis marks. So firstly, if we are going to say yes, they should open as a franchise, we can say expansion is much faster since it's a public limited company, which would be an application mark. And the franchisees will have the local knowledge, so they'll be able to increase the chance of higher sales for the clothes and shoes, which will again be an application mark. And um, the DGC can also receive a share of franchises, franchisees' profits, which provides an extra source of revenue. However, for disadvantage points, so why they shouldn't open as a franchise, you can say um, the franchisee has sorry, the uh, poor management of one franchise could actually damage the image of the whole business, which decreases demand for shoes and clothes. And the franchisee would have to pay a fee to use a brand name. So DGC would not have to raise as much capital when they enter a new market with has, which has the different cultural and social trends. And obviously in your valuation, give what you think if you either think um, they should open as a franchise or they shouldn't. And remember, you can only give points that you haven't been, it hasn't been said before, um, or else uh, it would, the two points would be just considered as one mark. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments below. And thank you for watching.